Hi, this is Anita from Real Estate Crunch. And today we're gonna to talk about a bit of some 12 common mistakes that people make when selling their house. So if you're looking to buy a house, you're looking to sell a house, it's important for everyone that is in this transaction to understand what the common mistakes are so they can be able to recognize those mistakes and to see if they're being made. Now, I feel this is important if you are a seller because you wanna make sure you're not making these mistakes which could affect you being able to sell your house. I also feel it's important if you're a buyer because this could actually be some red flags for you if the seller is doing this in a home or property that you are looking for. So here are some of the 12 most common mistakes. The first one, of course, is overpricing the property. You know, many homeowners may feel like their property is worth much more than it actually is. They might overprice the property. They might attach a lot of sentimental value to it, so they make the price higher. You know, a lot of times the problem with this is this will scare away most buyers and it can result in the property being on the market for a longer time. So this is important for you to understand as a seller and as a buyer. One reason a buyer might do this is if they purchase the market, the, the property when it was high. And so now they want to try to get as much money as they can out of it, even though the property has gone down. And that's what's happening now. In a lot of places, and particularly in the United States, in a lot of these so-called hot markets where, you know, people were buying property at a very high price. And now if they decide they want to sell them, the price, is, the price is high. They're trying to recoup as much of their money as they can. The other thing they do, people do, is they neglect repairs and maintenance on the property. And because of that, you know, they're putting the house on the market and... They're not doing the repairs that need to be done, so this is making the house that it's not as attractive as it should be to the buyers. They're uh, maybe ignoring their importance curb appeal, meaning that you know when people drive up, they want to be able to get a feeling for the house. You know, it could be that the house is poorly maintained, the exteriors look bad, the house looks bad, the lawn isn't mowed, that they don't really do much for the entire curb appeal, so the house looks bad, so that they're so so they're not able to really sell the house they're not staging their home they're leaving all their junk in the home they're not trying to make the home look nice where people come in and say "Ha, oh, this is a place that i want to live and that's one thing that staging kind of does the staging comes in and makes the home feel it or have this appeal to it where it makes people want to buy and feel like this is their home the other thing could be like maybe some um, sellers insist on being present at all the viewings and you know this could be kind of a red flag because homeowners should avoid being there during the showings because it can make the buyer feel really uncomfortable. And so it may also inhibit the buyer from being able to see themselves living in the house. You know, I know that if you're ever going to look at property and you know, you're kind of walking into the space where people are living, it just feels uncomfortable for you. You know, whether it's a rental property or whether you're buying, it just feels uncomfortable. I, you know, I myself feel like, oh, I'm sort of like I'm, I'm, I'm bothering you. I, I, I'm sorry about bothering you so much with these things. And you sort of, you know, you don't really, you know, as a buyer, you're not able to really look and to see the things you want to see because you're feeling really inhibited by, the, by somebody there. So really, you know, you should... Um, and you should make sure that the seller is not there if you're going to view the property so that you can really view the property the way you want to view it because it is a major investment. The other mistake they make is not hiring a real estate agent. Many times someone who's selling a house thinks they can do better than anyone else. So, But the truth is that selling a house can be very complicated, especially if you don't have the background to it. So... You know, it, it's, you know, bringing in a real estate agent, yes, it costs money, but it can also help you to be able to sell the house better. Um, you know, failing to market the property. You know, that some people, they, they just don't properly market the property. You know, so the house is sitting for a long time on the market. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe previously it was the fact that there was so many houses on the market. Oh, it's so easy to sell. I don't need to do much. You know, I can do all, you know, anything will sell, but, you know, that's not true anymore today. So not, that's not really true today. So they're not really up on what's happening in the market. The other thing is that sellers try to hide or disclose known issues. This is a big no-no. This is also illegal that you cannot hide or disclose issues that you know. Another thing a seller might do is they refuse to negotiate. Most people go in and they want to negotiate for a home. 
or um, they, they decide to sell the home as is, which can be a big mistake. It can lead to very a very low selling price. Um, or maybe, you, you know, as a seller, you're not flexible as of the closing date. You know, so you, you know, somebody says, well, look, I'd really like to do it, but I'd like to close on this date. And you're saying, no, I need this date. And so you become inflexible and it could totally kill the deal. And the last one may be that the, that the buyer is just too emotionally attached to the house, that they, they want to sell the house, but really don't want to sell the house. There's too many memories there. They're too attached to the house and they really don't want to have to ever sell it. So these are some things that um, you know are 12 common mistakes that are made when you're selling the home and if you're a buyer looking to buy a home that you can look for. I have a blog post on this which is called Avoid 12 Common Home Selling Mistakes to Maximize Your Profit that you can check out and we'll put the link into our description so that you can be able to read and see more about this. Thank you so much for listening to us. We appreciate you, our audience, and thank you to our technical team, especially Rico, for help making this possible.